Andrew Johnson, Minnesota State University, for short videos to help you become a better problem solver. Because life is a series of problems to be solved. How can I pass this class? How can I focus? What should I do this summer? How can I improve my golf game? These are examples of some of the daily uh, problems you face. A problem. Let us start with a definition. It is an incongruity, a difference between the present condition and the desired condition. Uh, it could be a product or performance or condition. The current does not match the desired. You see this incongruity or this lack of harmony. Here's where I am, but I see a problem because I'd like to be here. Problem solving then is simply moving from the present condition to the desired condition, to resolving this incongruity. Now, we become better problem solvers by understanding the creative process Creativity is a part of problem solving and the problem solving process. Understanding these processes enable you to master them. Let us define our terms. First of all, creativity is a type of thinking that enables people to generate ideas, invent new ideas, improve old ideas, and recombine existing ideas in a novel fashion. By the way, this is simply one definition of creativity. The field encompasses literally hundreds of different definitions. I'm picking out two to share with you because I'm a wonderful human being. If we wanted to define it behaviorally, we would say that it is the ability to produce work that is novel, high in quality, and appropriate. Creativity. Howard Gardner defines creativity as a type of problem solving. That's why I am including it with problem solving. Now, these problems can be found in all areas. When we think of creativity, we generally think only in terms of the arts. But creativity involves problem solving in all areas. Creativity is involved in all areas and is necessary in all areas, the arts, business, science, the military, even in education. How can we design a car to run on electricity? How can this feeling be expressed through movement, dance, and music? What kind of play will enable our team to score a touchdown? These are all types of problems. Creativity is a necessary element to solve them. This is one model of creativity or the creative process. This is the most common one. There are many models, but this is one. The Wallace model of creativity says the process occurs in four stages. Understanding this process will enable one to be more creative and to be a better problem solver. The first step is preparation. Here the problem is first perceived and defined. You gather information about the problem and you generate ideas. That's the preparation stage. You can't get to the others unless you attend to that one. Incubation is where it's got to percolate. The conscious and the unconscious mind manipulate the problem and think about the possible solutions. You want to give yourself plenty of time here. You can't rush creativity and expect to get your best product or performance. You need lots of time to think about it. Creativity does not happen. It's not a drive through experience. The illumination stage is the aha, where the creator or the problem solver suddenly sees the idea, concept, or solution to the problem. All the ideas, all the points seem to suddenly fall into place. This is the aha moment, but aha does not happen without that and without that. You don't get to illumination without spending time <coughs> in these first two. And the, the last stage is verification. This is where you evaluate your solution, where you test the idea, concept, or solution, where you revise and get the bugs out. Understanding this, to solve a problem or to be creative, spend lots of time there, 
generate ideas. You need a lot of thinkerating time to get your conscious and unconscious mind thinking about it. You have the aha and then the verification. End part one, problem solving.